Oshio, hey brother Nicholas, guess what? It was head peeling day. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I told you, I, I'm one, I, I gotta go with what's comfortable and what's easier. <laughs> I'm just at that age. You know, and, and if the Lord tarries, Brother Nicholas, then know what I have to say. <laughs> you, you, I'm not saying you will, but you might end up being like me, you know. You just don't care. <laughs> well, uh, everybody wants to look nice. I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about like, well, the way I was, I was real vain about my hair when I was young. <laughs> really vain. But, the question is, what has been going on in all of y'all's lives? It's something to answer to yourself, not to me, of course. And... And the question is, what have you allowed in your life as a Christian? Okay, what have you allowed in your life that you really shouldn't have and it's been going on for too long? And now is the time for peeling. <laughs> to peel it off. Get the Yeshua scissors and shears and razor and just shear it off, alright? <laughs> Uh, that's just a little tidbit, you know, just a little smidgen there, something to think about. But I, I had to do the video, Nick, brother Nick. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to. Well, not not to, to get at you, no. I mean, I had to get on, the, you know, to give a message for the Lord anyway, but... Uh, but I thought, well, why not, you know, why not say something to Brother Nicholas? <laughs> yep, yeah. but anyway, as I was saying, what's been going on in your life that, as a Christian, of course, that you really should not be allowing, and, and it is, you know, maybe gotten a little out of hand, you know, now with my hair the way it was, now to me that was just getting a little bit out of hand for me. And, uh, but anyway, the question is, though, for, for you, uh, what has been getting out of hand in your life, you know, that has been interfering with your walk with Yeshua? Now, see, you know what it is, and you know what needs to be done. So since you know what it is and know what it needs to be done, or something like my pop used to tell me when I was young, he'd sit there and he'd look at me and I, you know, I, I did something wrong, right? He'd just sit there and look at me and say, "Son," he says, "Now you know what's right, don't you?" I said, yes, sir. And he says, "And you know what's wrong, don't you?" Yes, sir. Then he'd say, "Well, if you know what's right and you know what's wrong, just do right." <laughs> You know, and, and the funny thing is, even though it, it, it's, it seems kind of like, well, that don't make sense, you know, or whatever, but especially when you're a kid or a young person, uh, I remember I, I kind of like, I knew what he said in part made sense, but it kind of made me just scratch my hand like, huh? <laughs> you know, but, but think about it. And this is the problem, especially as we as adults, you know, and some of you who are young adults and those who are older, especially those of us who are older, uh, with that statement, we're like, but that's not easy. Well, no one ever said it was. No one ever said that it was, and it's usually not. But since we do know what the problem is, right? Okay, since we know what the problem is and we know what the solution is, let's go with the solution we can get rid of the problem. Think about it anyway. God bless you. Shalom. Aho.